Developments in a local murder trial we first told you about last evening on Eyewitness News at 5. Joshua Fitzgerald was stabbed to death outside of a VFW hall in Fairhaven. Six years later, the victim's family now has some closure. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner joins us from the mobile newsroom with more on the jury's verdict. Jurors deliberated over the course of five hours before reaching a guilty verdict, convicting 24-year-old Brandon Callender of second-degree murder and the stabbing death of 30-year-old Joshua Fitzgerald in 2008. Here's the Fairhaven VFW Post today. Six years ago, its parking lot was the site of an all-out brawl that left one dead inside a hip-hop open mic night, outside chaos that spilled into Middle Street and escalated at its intersection with Bridge Street. 30-year-old Joshua Fitzgerald was fatally stabbed. His brother Patrick was as well, nearly to death. Eyewitness News knocked on two Fairhaven doors Friday, seeking reaction from Patrick Fitzgerald on the conviction of one of his brother's killers. No one answered. Two other men were also charged in connection with the 2008 melee. This is Thomas Oposta in 2010, sobbing in open court and uttering I love you to the gallery. A jury found him guilty of manslaughter, and a judge put Oposta behind bars for 8 to 12 years. Flowers marked the scene of that crime six years ago. The site now a far cry from that spring night, a night that spiraled horribly out of control. And so Brandon Callender now awaits sentencing on that second degree murder conviction. What's interesting is that Callender actually confessed to Fitzgerald's slang, making that admission to detectives, but a judge threw that out, ruling that the confession was coerced. In the end, clearly, it had no bearing on the outcome. I'm Jared Pleder, Eyewitness News.